I'm back at the meeting with the trabajo. I'm not, I'm not, I'm sorry, okay? Then the next one passes. So, Anne, I'm back at the meeting with Mr. Hassan Umay. Ito mo man tita telefono kanya na please. Can can you give him the? Okay, kalang ko pa nang okay. Shakti Umay, do not let him drive you home again. Cat, right? From the warehouse. Yes. I'm Joanna. We spoke last week. Pleasure. Have you met Mr. Livingston yet? Uh, me? No, never. Don't worry. Just the information on your employment with us. I, did I do something wrong? Mr. Livingston will be discussing everything with you. Uh, discussing what? Uh, this has nothing to do about the accident at the warehouse. Good. You're both here. Katerina. Yes, Kat. Great to meet you. You doing all right? Uh, the file's on your desk, sir. Should I come back in a few minutes? Uh, yeah. Joanne is one of our youngest lawyers. She is one of the best. <sighs> anyway, won't take up too much of your time. I've read your file, Kat, and I already feel like I know a lot about you. It's kind of a one-way friendship thing we've got going on. <laughs> and you were here at 2.30, right on time for our meeting. That's great. But Kat, you have been late for almost every morning shift since September. I miss my alarms too sometimes. But every day? Well, sir, I have a nine-year-old daughter, and I have to wait for her to get on the bus. So, I'm no more than 10 or 15 minutes late, and I make up for it by staying longer at the end of my shifts. Work in the warehouse, correct? Yep. Hard work. I admire those who can do a manual job. I personally would never work my body so hard. People down at the warehouse probably think I'm a tyrant, right? No one really talks about you down there. You can tell me, Kat. That way we all improve. Like a family. Well... Since you took over the company, uh... There have been some changes to the workload. The inventory has tripled. Yes, and tripled the sales. You should see that. Yes, but most of the workers were laid off in the warehouse. And most of us have to work through our breaks because we fall so far behind and... No, please, continue. This is all very helpful for me. Mistakes happen. I'm guessing that's why you called me here to talk about Carl. Did you know him well? Our daughters go to the same school. His wife babysits for me sometimes. Right, his wife. Emily. 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 Poor woman. I was just speaking to her a couple of weeks ago. It must be so hard. So, what exactly happened when Carl lost control of the lift? Don't worry, you're allowed to talk about it. It's just you and me. I don't know much about the accident. Well, you were working that day. Surely you saw something. Well, I wasn't in the warehouse that day. Right. You weren't in the warehouse. Instead, you were in the break room from 1.30 to 2 o'clock, according to your sign-up sheet. Uh, probably. I usually take a late lunch when I'm behind on my inventory. You need to take that? No. Uh, 
Sorry, it's just my daughter. She's waiting for me at school, and I have to pick her up. So I'm um, always late, it seems. I have a daughter. On top of after. being late, Kat, you've also been caught falling asleep at work as well. Well, I work a lot of doubles, so I just take a nap on my break sometimes. Do you fall asleep often? I wouldn't say often. Would sometimes. you maybe have fallen asleep the day of Carl's accident? I promise, sir. I don't fall asleep that often. I, I just want to know the probability, Kat, of you having a nap during your break. I don't know. I mean, possibly I might have. You had to guess. Give me an estimate. Well, if I was working a double, then yes, I most likely did. Right. So that means you were asleep when Carl was in the break room with you. I don't remember anyone in the break room with me that day. I mean, if you were asleep. Well, I didn't say it was asleep. You just asleep. said it was most likely. Well, no, because what I meant was what you had asked. Bad time? Not at all. What were we talking about? Right, so if Carl was there the whole time. He wasn't there the whole time. That you know of because you sleep during your breaks. But I'm willing to overlook that, by the way. Although we have been talking about downsizing the warehouse even more. I have worked here for five years. I know. I know you have. Kat, I'm not going to fire you. We're friends, remember? But, what I need from you is your statement. Statement? Yes. Carl was in the break room with you at 1.30, about an hour before his accident. No one else clocked in or out of the break room at that time, so you are the only one who can sign this. Is that what this is all about? Carl not getting a break the day he operated a forklift? People fool around using those lifts all the time. You were even caught using the lift with headphones on. I call my daughter sometimes during my night shift. It helps her sleep. And if you hurt someone that day because you couldn't hear them shout, is that my fault? As tragic as it is, Carl was operating the machine alone. His wife, Emily, has already signed the document stating that she does not hold the company responsible. Needless to say, the cooperation comes with benefits. I want to help you move up in the company, Kat. Get you a better schedule. No more missing your daughter. You said Emily signed this. When? When was that, Joanna? Two, two weeks ago. Yes, that's when I last spoke to her. Cat. Cat, I think we need to keep talking about this. Of course. No one is forcing anyone to be here. You're free to go if you want to, Cat. Just know, the company is well within their legal right to terminate you for all of your work violations. Cat, I'm not asking for much. <laughs>